Hi friends, this is the ID card we have generated by taking data from this Kinter window. We can use this Kinter window to change the data also. We are giving a new set of data. We are picking up an image. So the same image we are picking up. Now on submit, this data is used here. I will just refresh this. You can see the you can see the ID and name are changed. So this new data is taken and this ID card is generated. That we have used one Kinter window to take the data and this ID card is generated by using the data what the user has inputted. We'll learn all about this. We'll understand the file system here. We have used three files here. So we, one, one is the main file. Second one is the template file or the blank template what you draw and to, will to use to generate our ID card and the third one is our Kinter window where we will be taking the user inputs and accordingly we will pass it to the main to uh, generate the PDF file. So here you can see we are back to the main file. In the main file here is this is the path where our PDF will be generated. You can change the path also. So here let us write it. Update the path here. Now here you can see at the line number 7 we have calling the template file or here it is the template temp file here in this file all the labels are there whatever we are using and the logo etc we have placed it and this entirely we have discussed in part one similarly the next line we are importing our Kinter window so in this Kinter window there are five inputs we are taking or we are reading from this whatever the user has uh, given as inputs so the, the student name student ID there is class its student gender and the path to the file name these five variables we are using it here inside this and we are generating our uh, our ID card or the PDF file now you can see we'll mostly because already we have discussed how this temp file or the template file is called and how it is linked up in the part one so now we'll mostly focus on the Kinter window this window where the user inputs we are taking this is our blank template or the Kinter window where you will be running and uh, taking the user input. Let's just see how this blank window looks. Here it is without any input. Now we'll add it. Before that, first let's declare our string variables or whatever the data will be collecting. Now we are creating this string variables with a default value. So string var now where suppose we are first taking the name so value will, will give a default value which, which you can change it also I am giving Kalu okay. now be s name then I will go for s id or the student id this is also a string var now we are giving it string var but it's a integer what we will be taking so value let's say 16 I am putting no let will give a value like this <clears throat> so s name s id s class or student class equal to tk dot string var these are all string by you can get our all details about what is a string bar how why you are using all the details you'll get it one tutorial is there we'll place it and this is the class then we'll go for gender so this also string var now value will put it female now one more is where we will be storing other the or the path of the image or the profile photo whatever you call it so s file name now I am keeping it as a blank now these are all the inputs what you will be and these inputs will be passing to our main file here you can see here we import and these values will be using to generate our uh, whatever we are generating our ID card. So up to this it is over. Now let's work on the layout part. If you are already aware of it labels input label input you can skip this part this part and start fresh. So let me just take the this for the our beginners who want to understand the how the layout works l1 equal to tk dot label. So this is the label telling what it is the what the input is my underscore w is the parent window at line number five you can see the, then text what text we are going to use this is the name I was just writing the name slightly bigger font will use so we are given 22 width equal to 8 and foreground or the font color that is the font color is let's give blue so that's all now we'll place it on our grid so l1 sorry sorry l1 dot grid 
so row equal this is the first element so row equal to 0 column equal to 0 and slightly will not plus with the left edge so pad x equal to 1 pad y from the top edge how much it's 10 so this is the label now each label will be associated with a input next right of it will give the input so for that let me just write the input here e1 i am giving the name all labels will give the name variable name as l and thing. you can change it whatever this is for our easy understanding what for this input is tk dot entry this is the entry where the user will enter the text my underscore w the, again the parent window slightly bigger font we are using 22 and uh, width equal to 8 we'll add the text variable here this is where we are connecting actually variable te where text variable is s name so this is the connected to this here it is the string variable whatever you are taken we are connected so this whatever the user enters here the value will be stored there in this against this variable and this will take it to the main to read it so now let's place this one on grid now it is at the same row row equal to zero row is our zero now column column is right of it so column equal to our one it will be the next column slightly pad x from the left edge we are left edge left element now now pad y equal to 10 from the top so that's all now these two elements are ready or this a first element with a label and all let's just run this and see here it is you can see the name and the default value whatever we have given here is name the k l u call whatever given that input box is there in the same fashion we'll add uh, the this is for the name then we'll take the id class mark and gender and just copy it it's the same code and just labels are different so you can see here this was there from here label 2 we are written id here and that uh, same one input 2 we have taken and text variable is s id we have connected to collect the id what the user enters similarly the label is class what what is the class and you can see the entry we are collecting s class and similar last one is the gender now whatever the gender it is the label is says gender and it is connected to the text variable as gender here so these four are there but note that we have to add two buttons one is to browse and select the image and another button is to submit or close the window so for that let's start with b1 equal to our tk dot button now this button once we click this button will uh, the browser file browser will open and will point to a image my underscore w is our pa parent window text equal to select whatever you want to write it write it here now slightly bigger font we are giving as 22 now font is 22 now let me just write command command equal to lambda now we will write execute a function on click of this button that we are selling upload file this function so far we have not written we are going to write it so this particular function will be triggered now let's place this button on our grid b1 dot our grid now this is the last one you can see at the top here it is row one was we are finished we are started with row zero row one this is the next so it is row two so b2 equal to row equal to two and we are writing column first one so column equal to zero and slightly column span we are giving so column span equal to two so because the width is more so two spans it we are given here now below that let's write that function where we will be uploading the uh, or showing the file browser and uploading it so we'll say define upload file this particular function will be using and once this button is clicked this function is called so let me just bring it one step down fine here it is now i will say global global img image and s file name so this is because inside the function kinter has some uh, garbage collection issue so let's declare it as global variable and access in time and inside that let me just give what type of files we have, i am planning to upload so it is if you want something else also you can give it now i am giving here jpg files this is the text part and what i am uploading is actually 
telling star dot jpg so this file i will be uh, asking only to in my browser to select it file browser so s file name s file uh, file name equal to now this value whatever we are doing is file dialog file dialog at the top we have imported you can see let's move here it is at line number two so this we are using this will open up the file dialog now ask open file and file name because we want a string here if i'll give a file then it will create a file object for me which i don't want now file just file types file types is equal to now whatever at the just above we are declare it file types so that's uh, this is this will will hold the file name now now image equal to now here image tk we have this also we have imported at the top you can see here it is <coughs> from python image library we are imported this pil is python python image library so here we are using it photo image now fine now inside that <coughs> file equal to now equal to s file name now whatever the file name so whatever the file name we are getting that that we are associating with this this file dialog will only pick up the path here the file with the file name so that you are connecting to this image now let's display the image now so because we we are holding that image now we have uh, in that image so now we will display using a button v4 equal to tk dot button this one is created this button is created my underscore w is my parent window now here i am saying image equal to emg now this purpose of this button is only to show that it's a preview preview of the button so v4 dot grid i am placing it on a grid row equal to 2 and column equal to 2 previously it is there already there one row 0 with the column span 2 so column 2 and this also column span i am giving 2 so slightly bigger width so this purpose of this b4 button is only to display the image now let's come out of this one and hold the let's create the last button this button is on it has nothing to do it will only close the window so the, all the variables will be passed to our main script so tk dot button now this is outside the function my underscore w is my parent window text equal to whatever i want to write it let's use single quote submit so i am just submitting this font equal to 22 now command what it will going to do on click lambda because this small function my underscore w this is my parent window or the main window destroy now what i am going to do is close this window so now let me just place it on the grid b2 dot grid now i'll say row equal to 3 next line i am going after row 2 row 3 then column equal to 1 then pad x equal to now 10 from the left edge now pad y equal to from the top edge i am giving again 10 that's all now this button is outside note that this button is outside the function i am saving this i can run independently but this is not supposed to run because i have to pass the variables to our main script let's just see if any error is there we can see yeah here you can see all the default values whatever we have given written at the top you can see let me pull it off here here you can see all the default values string variables are there and those values are coming here now i can click this select the image i can see the here is that one I can put put will up there. Something is wrong. Here is the problem. This variable is s file name or student file name or what the profile picture is. Now I let me just save this. This is the blank one. So I am just running it to check whether it's working fine or not. Yeah. Okay. I'll not submit it. Let me go to the main file now. Here is the main my main file. And in the main file, let me run this and update. So when i am running this it calls the same template file let me change the id to reflect the changes now i am selecting the image now i'll pick up this again now on submit this will close and this will update the pdf file now let me just go here refresh this, this 
remember this is 25 yeah id is 25 so this as the id card is updated based on the whatever data we have taken and let's just understand how it works in the main file here the all the variables we are getting from the kinter window this is all the five variables including the file name this is the path actually now you can see here there the first the draw the image this whatever the path is there based on that this image is drawn on the id card this is the student picture and you can see all the labels we are draw string how these strings are drawn by the left aligned and all we all we have discussed in the part one but only thing is while displaying the variable values we are using get method because this s id and this s name all are string variables now and because this is a id is it is a uh, integer so directly instead of displaying we are using str to convert it to uh, a string and then we are displaying and all these are string variables so you are using get method to take the value directly we can't use the s name whereas in the part uh, one of it we are the name we have used the as a variable because they are straight with the python variable so we have displayed it like that that's all you can this is the way uh, you can uh, display whatever the user has input in the kinter window they give it and uh, better to you please understand the previous part that is actually part 13 and that you if you understand all the templates and all how it has come we have explained and in this part only we are more focused on how the data is taken from the kinter window so in the next part we will go how you will multiple records will pull from the database along with the picture and display dynamically lot of id cards say bulk of some 50 id cards we will generate on the fly because we'll take the everything from the name id class gender including the photo from the database and loop through all this to generate that we'll learn in the next part that's all friend the entire source code is available you can download it the link is there at the description and if you have any doubt suggestion or question on this put it in the comment section below and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add a new tutorials we frequently do that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching